making jumps at home, you can have little oopsies. For example, when I made these standards, I only made the bases 12 inches long on each of the feet. And if you're gonna be jumping anything over like two feet or probably even one and a half feet, 18 inches, you need to have feet that are bigger than 12 inches on the bottom. And since these standards are still really good standards, they're still usable, they're just really wobbly, I'm going to show you how I'm going to increase the base size of this pair of standards very simply to make them very usable up to 44 inches tall total jumping height and I can do it for less than five dollars. Hi again it's me Lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here welcome to my garage again. So I don't know if you can see behind me, but I've got a lot of jump rails and I've got some standards and stuff that I'm going to be sprucing up getting ready to use this spring. Spring is on its way. I'm so excited. Come on spring. But before spring gets here and good riding weather gets here, I'm going to make the most of my time and I'm going to refurbish my jumps and make them even better for this year. So I'm going to start with these standards, like I said in the beginning, that have a really short base. And I'm going to add 16 inch 2x4s to two of the sides to make these a lot more stable. That way I can jump higher and they're not going to be wobbly. That's a good thing. So how about we get started and fix up these jump standards. The first thing I did was grab a 2x4 and measure off in 16 inch increments because the feet that I'm going to be adding to my standards are 16 inches long. And after I had them measured off, it was time to cut the 2x4 into the 16 inch pieces. And after I had cut out the two by fours, I don't know if you can see it, but I do have like a template for cutting the corners off the feet. So that's what I'm doing right here is I'm cutting at about a 45 degree angle, maybe 50 degrees, I don't know, and taking the top corner off of the two by four so that it makes it more of a beveled edge so it's not just a straight line. And I do this on every one of the 16 inch pieces of two by four that I've cut out because these are gonna be my feet and I want them to look similar to the feet that are already on the standard. And now they're all done. And then I just took two of those 16 inch pieces of two by four lumber and attached them to the base of the standard. And what I did was make the new feet be opposite of each other. If you wanted to, you could add four feet. I chose just to add two because it gave it enough stability that the standard will be stable and it won't be wobbly. and then I just duplicated it on the other standard. So now I'll have a matching pair of standards and I made sure to have the feet be on the same side of the standard. So, so the feet will be on the front and back of the standard.
and after I attached the new feet, I found one part that needed to be a little bit more stable, so I just added a screw. And after I had the feet attached, then I wanted to fill in any gaps that I had between the new feet and the previous feet, and also to fill in any gaps that were around where the upright portion of the standard meets the base. So I just used some latex painter's caulk and filled everything in. And I want to make sure my standards are matching, so I made sure to do it on the other standard as well. And now I get to do my favorite part, which is painting. And of course I start with my primer paint, which is Kills 2 Primer, and just went over the entire base of the standard. This includes the new pieces of wood that I added, along with the previous pieces of wood. And I also went ahead and painted up on the sides just to make sure that there was no bare spots on the upright of the standard. And once I did the one, you guessed it, I have to do the same thing to the other standard so that they'll match. And after I allowed the primer paint to dry, then it was time to grab the Rust-Oleum paint that I have, the high gloss oil base paint, and paint the entire base of the standard. And I also ended up painting the upright portion as well. And because of the magic of video, here are my schooling standards all repaired. See? They turned out pretty good and they're a lot more stable now. So if my horse is not into a jump, they're more stable and they're not going to fall over. <laughs> so let me just give you a quick little tip. When you're making your schooling standards, don't get cheap and make your bases 12 inches long. It's not going to do you any good and it'll actually end up costing you more money and time in the long run. So go ahead and make the feet at least 16 inches long before you connect them to the bases 
of your schooling standards and you'll be a lot happier and you won't have to be doing repairs like I did for this video. But if your schooling standard bases are too short and you find your standards getting wobbly, just take a two by four and cut off a longer portion and attach it to the base. If you wanted to, you could do it on all four sides. It would probably actually look really cool. I think that looks pretty cool. What do you think? The base looks more substantial, I think. And they're all pretty now and ready for use. Now, if the weather would just warm up a little bit and the sun would stay out a little bit longer, we'd be in business. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture, my picture. At the end of this video, you can subscribe to my channel and watch all my other DIY videos. Again, thanks for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.